Hey guys, Big Time Collector 01 here, back with you with another Marvel Legends um, review on the Marvel Legends Wolverine from the X-Men Juggernaut wave. And yeah, he's, he is pretty short, which I do like. Oops, sorry about the camera. So, I do like how he's super short, like he should be. He is short and scruffy and pretty, he gets angry pretty quickly and easily. So yeah, we'll take a closer look at him later. And let's take a closer look at the packaging. So you get X-Men right there, and then you see Wolverine, and little X at the inside of the box, and then you see X at the top here. You get Wolverine here, and looking very happy. He looks very happy so here, and then you get the other figures in the way. And then here's Wolverine right there with a the quick bio up there. If you want to read that, pause it now. And then we get Wolverine on the side again. We get Legend Series at the top. forgot to mention, and then they, there's nothing much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and Wolverine. look at Wolverine. And this figure is awesome. He is one of my favorite figures from this wave. Actually, my second favorite figure from this wave. I do like the lot. Very nice. I like the paint and the articulation. And I'm going to mention this a lot. He does look pretty muscular. I mean, he looks very muscular to me. And I'm going to actually mention that like a lot, probably. But he comes with two accessories. He comes with um, these hands here. With the claws that are, the claws that are sunk, synced in or something, I don't know. But they're, they're not popped out, like you can just interchange, like this, just pop the, so, and the hands do come off pretty easily, so. I like that, but I sort of don't like that. Like, I, I don't like how they come off very easily, and also the claws just get really, or like they were very warped from the packaging, like once I opened them. But I I actually figured out how to remove them, and then when I removed them and I put them in different areas, they actually became better. Like this, like this one, like this one came out like awesome. They like they're all in, but this one like like just the end one here doesn't want to like go all the way in. If you can see like some gapage there, that, that bothers me a little bit. But yeah, I like these. I like these hands he comes with. They look very nice. Like, I like that. It looks nice. And like, as like again, mentioning that he's muscular. Like, look at that. When you like bend his elbow like that, doesn't he look pretty muscular? And it's also the bicep size as well. Just the bicep size to me. So, <laughs> again, like I said, I'm gonna mention that probably a lot. So getting onto the figure. And not his muscular, or, uh, however you say it, how muscular he is. Um, that sculpt is pretty decent. I like it. Looks nice. I like that. I like his facial expression. And, and I like how he's not angry. Like how he doesn't look really angry because really if you have him standing still, like that doesn't really look cool. I just like these. I like, I like that. On mine, it came a little bit warped. See? It's a little curved in there. And I don't, it doesn't bother me that much. I mean, I actually prefer it like that. I don't know. I, I like it like that. I don't know why. Um, going throughout, this is all, I like, I like the sculpting on the body. This is a new body mold, by the way. I, I thought it was reused for some reason. I thought it was the Hyperion body mold. But, I then I realized then, yeah, the Hyperion body mold doesn't have the butterfly joints. And the Hyperion body mold has the, um, the hole in the back, and yeah, th this is not the Hyperion body mold, it's brand new, so yeah. I think it's gonna, I think this is gonna be the only figure that's gonna be used. This, but probably like we're most probably gonna see this in the future because Hasbro does like to reuse body molds. I'm just noticing this from the camera, you can see this, these little dots here. I'm just noticing that. Okay. Um, there's this one paint. Uh, paint area, area of paint, I don't like, somewhere on the elbows, oh, here it is, right there, I, I, yeah, they came out, and that thing come out pretty good, but it doesn't bother me as much, yeah, the belt looks nice, I like the, I like the gold they use for the buckle, there, and then the legs, I don't know if they're, these legs are reused or not, I mean, let me know in the comments below, they look reused to me, they look brand new, I don't know, I like the I like the boots. I like how they resemble like Wolverine, just the classic look for Wolverine. That looks very nice. Also like these um silver things here, 
I can't. I don't know what they're called. They look very nice. I do like them. I like how they painted them silver. I don't know what they are, really. I can't remember what they're called. Are they part of his glove or part of his, his actual body? I don't know. But, as you can see, taking a look at one of the claws, they look pretty cool. Like, they are removable. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, they are removable. See, take that off. So, let's just take a closer look at this claw right here. I like this... I like this white, this pearlescent white they use for it. But I wish these things, they were silver. Like the SCCC one. I don't have that figure, but I do like the pearlescent white on this, on these claws a lot. They look, they look nice. I do like it, but still prefer the silver, metallic silver. Just popping that on right there. And then, yeah, you get the same thing, but these have holes, so taking up, taking this out, yeah, you can see the hole. And just popping that back in here. Yeah, just pop that back in. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, I, I do like this. I do like how this one came out better than this one, because this claw just goes everywhere. See? Like, yeah, I don't really like that. And there's also no one, but the middle one doesn't give me too much problems. Installation on this figure is pretty decent. It's pretty awesome. I like it a lot. So the head looks up that much. Like it looks up all the way. Looks down that much. It looks side to side. Also has some head pivot. And also you can pop the head off if you have any un unmasked Wolverine heads. Just pop it on there. I don't have any, so I can't do that. I do, but it's on the Marvel Select Wolverine, and yeah, I can't really use that. And to me, it looks pretty big. So yeah. So he has a butterfly joint. It moves inward that much and outward that much the shoulders move out that much they don't really move out that much i don't like i seriously don't know why he, and then he also has bicep swivel also has double jointed elbows his, his wrists do hinge and rotate he also has an ab crunch that moves forward that much and back that much his hips move out that much his legs can get forward or that much and they move back some Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, knees boot rotation, and the ankles move down, up, and he also has ankle pivot. And if you hear my dog crying out, outside the review station, yeah, my parents went on a walk and she's waiting for And me. here's the figure at its widest stance possible with both feet still flat on the floor. And this really proves my point. Like, look how muscular he looks. I think this looks way more muscular. Then the Marvel Legends Age of Ultron Hulk I have. Like, really, just look at that. And I also forgot to mention, he has pretty short arms. Like, if I thin them out, like, see. Look how short his arms are. But doesn't that prove my point? If you think this thing is muscular, let me know in the Wolverine comments. Wolverine here is pretty short, as he should be. He's, he's standing about at 6 inches. And yeah, his head is, like, a bit turned. Like, yeah, about 6 inches. Oh, Toy Biz slash other Wolverine comparison. Here he is next to the Series Three Wolverine, and then, yeah, I like this. I like the height on this figure a lot, and I thought this figure would be a bit shorter or the same height, same because he look at him. He's a bit. He's hunching a little bit. Yeah, so I do like the fi the height on this figure. Here he is next to um the Marvel Le Return of Marvel Legends Aaron Zola wave Dakin, aka his son. Just saying. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legend, no, not Marvel Legend, Marvel Select, um, Wolverine, brown costume, variant, unmasked. And yeah, this used to be one of my favorite Wolverine figures, and I do like a lot about the detailing, but the articulation and size, just the articulation could use more, and the size was just way too big for me. And this Wolverine just hit it out of the park, size and articulation, just look at that. And Dakin, I don't know if he's out of scale or in scale, really. And should Wolverine be taller than Dakin? I mean, I have a feeling he should be taller than Dakin, or should he be shorter than Dakin? I don't know. Please let me know in the comments. I really Next don't know. There's two other figures in this wave that I already reviewed, which is the Marvel Legends Deadpool and Cable. And going back to the muscularity thing, like, I really think Cable should be way more muscular than Wolverine just... Look at that, like, are you seeing this? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Just, look at that. Like, that's just crazy to me. 
just this doesn't look right. I think Cable should be like a lot more muscular than Wolverine. That just doesn't look right to me. I don't know. Even Deadpool. And then this is reutilizing the Bucky Cat mold. And really. I think I think the Bucky Cat mold should be just a bit more buff. If you know what I'm saying, but yeah. I I don't know. And I think it's just the bicep size. But I think this is a bigger bicep than that. And then just that. Oh my god. It's just. To me. It looks freaking weird. But the Series 3 Wolverine I forgot to mention. Looks a lot more mus Like a bit more muscular. Than this Wolverine. And to me. Because the bicep size is a bit. Is bigger. And to me. And he also has veins. So it also like. Pop, makes it pop out. Just look at that. And that really. Proves my point. Like. This, this figure is really muscular to me. I don't mind it. But, I don't know. It just looks weird. I mean, to me, I don't know. Review. Hopefully you liked it. And, yeah, I do like this figure. If you see my top 10 Marvel Legends of 2016, it did make my number 3 spot. So, yeah. Uh, and I do like this figure a lot. There is some complaints about it. Like, uh, like about the hands coming off pretty easily. Yeah, I do like the height on it. I do like the height and the articulation a lot. It's way better than the Series 3 Wolverine and the Marvel Select. Like, totally better than the Marvel Select. Yeah, I do like a lot. Some paint missing here and there. And I forgot to mention the top of the head, if you can see. There, it's... Yeah, and there's like a bit of dents and stuff. there. Yeah, but I, overall, I like the figure a lot. One of my favorite figures from this wave. It's my second fa favorite figure from this wave. Even um, Deadpool would be first. And then, yeah. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, free comic book day is May 6th, next Saturday. So, yeah, I'm going to be at Beyond Comics. And I'm going to be there shopping around for action figures and stuff, getting my free comics. And it's this will, like, apply to all comic book stores, I think. And, yeah, so, I'm just, just giving you a little heads up there. So, hopefully you like my review, and I'll catch you guys later.